One moment. So I hope everyone of you have installed, right? This installed. Now what to see is installation we completed. Then yeah, now we will discuss about uh, programming modes. Okay. So next we discuss about the programming modes. All of you take the side heading as programming modes. So I'll open Python first. And for it now, Python 3.11. This is what I want. Let me open Python. So right down, there are two programming modes in Python. One is immediate mode, second is scripting mode. I hope all of you are writing the notes also. And I told you strictly that you carry a notebook and pen with you. Online class ka dhanje pe se only mobile unte jalo di system unte jalo di kudra sa. Okay. So programming modes means immediate mode and scripting mode. Immediate mode unte empty, scripting mode unte empty. Okay. Now immediate mode. And AD and A. Well, Python open Jagani main window, so this is called Python prompt. E window name and down Python prompt. For example, you could rasta. I'll say A equal to 10. The moment I press the enter, that line is executed. If I ask A value, I am getting the A value. Let me if I define B equal to 20. Now that is executed. If I ask B value, that B value will be displayed. Now if I say A plus B, in the next line, I am getting the result. So if you are writing your program in Python prompt, it will give you the next step. So that is called as immediate mode of writing the program or executing the program. Okay. So if you are writing your code in Python prompt, if the code is written in Python prompt, it is called immediate mode problem enti ante immediate mode ni meer edaithe ikkada program rastharo adi save cheyaleru for example edaina mistake chesthe malli correct cheyaleru ipudu ikkada a equal b equal to 20 iskunanu ipudu ikkada b equal to 30 edit cheyaleru i cannot edit here okay so that means malli malli repeat to the error sustadi idi editable window kaadu at the same time you can't save the work we program correct aina kuda work save cheyaleru kabatti only in a day, even a command test is called a mother will use the immediate mode. Now, what is second mode? That is a scripting mode. So, scripting mode means if we create a new file to write a program, it is called scripting mode. Okay, now let us go to Python prompt once again. So, here there is a file option in that first option is new file the moment i click that there is a new file created which is an untitled file so now i will write here a equal to 10 now b equal to 20 then c equal to a plus b like this i'll write okay now i want to print the result so i will write print c because sum of a plus b is stored in c now if i press enter c i'm not getting any result right so if i want to get the result i need to execute this if I want to execute this, I need to save this. So, for example, I will save this. So, save as, let me say, one, let me say, v1.py, like this. So, you can give any name, but you save with .py extension. Once it is saved, na, see, you got the same name. Now, you run this. If you want to run this, <coughs> you can go to run, then run module or F5. So, now you see, I got the result here. Okay, 
సో ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ దీంట్లో నేను చేంజ్ చేయాలి ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఐ వాంట్ టు చేంజ్ ఏ టు హండ్రెడ్ టు టూ టెన్ టు హండ్రెడ్ దెన్ బి ఫ్రమ్ హండ్రెడ్ టు ట్వంటీ టు టూ హండ్రెడ్ దట్ ఈస్ పాసిబుల్ సో దట్ మీన్స్ ఐ కెన్ రన్ ద ప్రోగ్రామ్ ఐ కెన్ ఎడిట్ ద ప్రోగ్రామ్ ఐ కెన్ క్లోజ్ ద ప్రోగ్రామ్ ఐ కెన్ సేవ్ ద వర్క్ వాట్ ఎస్ ఐ ఐ కెన్ డూ దిస్ సో దిస్ ఈస్ కాల్డ్ ఎస్ స్క్రిప్టింగ్ మోడ్ so if you are writing your program in a, a new file new file is called as a script so that's why it is called as a scripting mode okay so new file open chesi manam program raste dan scripting mode antam adhe normal ga direct ga python prompt lo raste em antam ante that is always called as uh, immediate mode so always you try to write every program in a separate file that means uh, it is better if you write your programs using scripting mode only and everyone will write the programs using scripting mode because you can save the files otherwise you can't save the programs okay so that is the these are all the differences between immediate mode and scripting mode okay anyone is new today shalini are you present yesterday anyone is new today <coughs> anjali shalini are you attending first time or what teja first day sir acha okay మీ రిజిస్ట్రేషన్ అయిపోయిందమ్మా కంప్లీట్ సో విల్ యూ బి కంటిన్యూ ఓన్లీ ఆన్లైన్ ఆర్ ఆఫ్లైన్ విల్ యూ కమ్ ఫర్ ఆన్లైన్ ఆఫ్లైన్ ఓకే దెన్ దట్ ఈస్ ఫైన్ రైట్ ఓకే సో దిస్ ఈస్ అ స్మాల్ డిస్కషన్ ఆన్ ఇమీడియట్ మోడల్ స్ట్రెప్టింగ్ మోడ్ ఓకే రైట్ నౌ యూ రైట్ దిస్ డెఫినేషన్ ఆఫ్టర్ దిస్ లెట్ ఇస్ గో టు ది python variables how to create the python variables what is the importance of variables that will see so finish it after write up is over you put a message in the chat box stating that sir completed like that so that i can understand don't keep quiet interact try to interact okay you can use chat sir, box sir what will it is emandi sir save yekunda run cheyachu kada manam program scripting mode lo indaga me save chesa kada run chesa kada le le save cheyakunda run avadu రన్ అవ్వదు ఓకేనా మీరు ఇన్ కేసు డైరెక్ట్ గా రన్ కొట్టినా కూడా సేవ్ చేయాలి అవుతుందని అడుగుతుంది ఓకేనా ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ యూ సి ఐ షో యూ హియర్ ఐ మేక్ దిస్ వాల్యూస్ మేబీ థౌజండ్ వన్ టూ థౌజండ్ వన్ ఇప్పుడు నేను ఎడిట్ చేస్తాను కదా నేను డైరెక్ట్ గా రన్ కొడతా ద మూమెంట్ ఐ ప్రెస్ రన్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఆస్కింగ్ ఓకే సోర్స్ మస్ట్ బి సేవ్డ్ ఓకే టు సేవ్ అర్థమవుతుందా ఇప్పుడు ఓకే కొట్టిన తర్వాత రన్ అవుతుంది అండర్స్టాండ్ ఓకే మనం ఫైల్ సేవ్ చేయకపోతే రన్ మాత్రం కాదు కదా సార్ రన్ అవ్వదు రన్ అవ్వదు సేవ్ చేయాల్సిందే ఖచ్చితంగా ఓకే సార్ థ్యాంక్ యూ ఓకే నౌ లెట్ అస్ డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ పైథన్ వేరియబుల్స్ టేక్ ద సైడ్ ఎడింగ్ ఎస్ పైథన్ వేరియబుల్స్ నో బేసికల్లీ వాట్ ఈస్ ద వేరియబుల్ ద వేరియబుల్ యూజువల్లీ యూజ్ టు స్టోర్ ద డేటా ఓకే సో వేరియబుల్ అనేది నార్మల్ గా వీ యూస్ టు స్టోర్ ద డేటా ఎందుకు వాడతాం ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఏ ఇందాక ప్రోగ్రామ్ లో మనం ఏ ఈక్వల్ టు టెన్ బి ఈక్వల్ టు ట్వంటీ అనే రెండు వేరియబుల్స్ క్రియేట్ చేస్తాం ఏం చేస్తామంటే ఏ అనే వేరియబుల్ లో టెన్ అనే వాల్యూ స్టోర్ చేస్తాం బి అనే వేరియబుల్ లో ట్వంటీ అనే వాల్యూ స్టోర్ చేస్తాం అట్లా సో కాబట్టి ఇఫ్ యూ వాంట్ టు స్టోర్ దట్ డేటా నాట్ ఓన్లీ నంబర్స్ యూ కెన్ స్టోర్ ద నేమ్స్ యూ కెన్ స్టోర్ యువర్ మార్క్స్ యూ కెన్ స్టోర్ యువర్ డీటెయిల్స్ యూ కెన్ స్టోర్ యువర్ బ్యాంక్ అకౌంట్స్ రైట్ ఎనీథింగ్ so any kind of data can be stored in a variables so basically the purpose of variable is to create a data to store the data okay now generally variable structure ela untundante meeku oka side emo left hand side emo variable name untundi right hand side emo data untundi madhyalo equal to symbol untundi equal to name antam ante assignment operator anta so assignment operator ki lh side left hand side unde emo variable name antam right hand side unde emo data anta if i say equal to 10 ఇక్కడ వేరియబుల్ నేమ్ ఏంటి ఏ అనేది వేరియబుల్ నేమ్ టెన్ అనేది డేటా అసోసియేటెడ్ విత్ వేరియబుల్ ఈక్వల్ టు అనేది ఏంటంటే అసైన్మెంట్ ఆపరేటర్ ఓకే సో రైట్ దిస్ రైట్ దిస్ పాయింట్ ఫస్ట్ మరి రాసుకోండి కొందరు తెలుగు గల వాళ్ళు ఉంటారు మేము స్నాప్ తీసుకుంటాం ఫోటో తీసుకుంటాం వీడియో తీసుకుంటాం అనుకుంటారు కానీ అవన్నీ వర్కౌట్ అవ్వు ఇఫ్ యూఆర్ సీరియస్ అబౌట్ లెర్నింగ్ యూ హెవ్ టు రైట్ ద నోట్స్ చాలా మంది ఉన్నారు అట్లా ఫోటో తీసుకుంటాం సార్ తర్వాత చదువుకుంటాం సార్ తర్వాత రాసుకుంటాం అన్న వాళ్ళు అట్లాంటి వాళ్ళు ఎవరు ఫాలో కాలేదు అవన్నీ కాని పనులు టైం ఇచ్చినప్పుడు రాసుకుని వాళ్ళు మళ్ళీ స్పెసిఫిక్ గా టైం తీసుకొని రాస్తారని ఎట్లా అనుకుంటారండి షాలిని యువర్ వాయిస్ ఇస్ ఆన్ మ్యూట్ నా యా దట్స్ ఫైన్ థ్యాంక్ యూ శ్రీకాంత్ 
Now, next. Any variable that is created in Python, it has two attributes. So first is identity. Second is data type. Okay, where is the moment you create the variable, you can find two things from that variable. So first thing is that identity of the variable. Second is the data type of the variable. Okay, variable create this name. We will end with the list only. Okay, you can find, you can check its identity. Then second one is you can find its data type. So under which name under one attributes of the variable under. So any variable that you create in Python, it has two attributes. One is identity. Then second is the data type of the variable. So right point number two. <coughs> Yeah, thank you, Harika. Right now, what is identity? So identity means of a variable. Address is nothing but the memory location of the variable. Any variable that you create, it stores some value, right? Okay, now that will be stored in certain memory location. That memory location is called as an address. So identity basically represents the address of a variable. Now, in Python, if you want to find the identity address of a variable, then you can use a function called id function. Id is a function in matter. This function is uh, the memory location that detects it. So, syntax is not a For example, if you create a variable, you can use id of variable name or id of data. So, this is what you can see. See, for example, I will show you. So, let me create a variable. For example, already have a equal to 1001 we have created. Now, if I say id, id of a, it is giving some number, right? So, that number represents the memory location. That number represents the address of a variable. Okay, similarly, there is another variable called b. So, b is carrying 2001. Now, if I say id of b, okay, now I would like to create another variable called my name. I'll create a variable called my name. So, my name, I'll write my name. So, my name is Upender, Upender Reddy. So, I will check now what is identity. The variable is created. So what is ID of my name? Identity of M Y N A M E, my name. You check it. We got different numbers. So like this. Okay. So this is called identity. Okay. What is that number? We have nothing to do with that number because we are not interested in computer architecture. We are interested in programming. Are you important in memory location? System architects are important. Manaki kadu. As a programmer, we don't have any thing to do with that. Okay? So like this, identity can be easily found using ID and a function to find out change. So write this point number three and point number four. Next. And also write the examples. First you write this point, then I'll show you these examples. Then you write these examples. Okay? Okay, Srikan, finished. That's good. Uh, now you write the examples. This example is right. So you take a equal to 1001, you check id of a. This is an example. Then we took b equal to 2001, this is the id of b. Then we created another variable called my name. So this is id of that variable. So maybe write two or one or two examples. How we can use that id function.
okay good now that is about identity next let us go to data type now what is data type so it indicates the type of data that is stored in that variable endukante data ane names undochu numbers undochu name ankonde string antam number aithe nemo integer avachu float avachu complex avachu kada so atla anamata ante you can assign anything to it not only numbers not only names combination of names and numbers also we can assign so like this data type represents we have what type of data that is stored okay so for that in order to identify the data type we have another function called type so type ane function undi we use type function to identify the uh, data type of a variable okay so for example you see here we have abc na so for example already a ane variable manaku unda kada 1001 so if i say type so type of a that means it is giving me class int int stands for integer a ane variable lo integer store ayindi 1001 is an integer kada anta integer similarly we already have another variable b so if i say type type of b now it is giving me integer because 2001 is also integer now there is another variable called my name so for example if i ask my name it is giving me open the ready so if i ask what is the type of that variable type of m y n a m e now what i am getting is a string this is a string right okay like this oka variable lo etla information store ay undi ane telusukodaniki we will use this type okay so now you write this first you write about point number 5 and point number 6 then i will show you the examples that examples you write completed good yeah thank you bhavani and shrikant all right so now you write the examples for this uh, type you see here we took a equal to 1001 type of a is integer next b equal to 2000 type of b is an integer okay let me take another one c equal to i will say 56.89 now if i see type so type of c i am getting as a float that is a floating point number a number but with decimal point right so those are called floats so like this we will get different different so ante oka variable ane ichina podu manam rendu identify cheyochu okate emo what is the identity address of that particular variable and the second one is what is the type of data that is stored in that particular variable so that we can successfully do it by using type function okay so i hope you got that yeah that is good now next now next let us discuss about the rules to define the python variables okay all of you take the heading rules to define the python variables next we will discuss about the rules to define the python variables okay so first rule is let us go rule by rule python a variable name can have any number of characters there is no limit okay what i mean to say is it can have any number of characters so what i mean to say is for example i can create a variable like this a equal to 100 this is also correct now if i create like this also number equal to 100 this is also correct what is the difference here the variable name is having only one character here the variable name is having six number of characters 
now i can i can make it like this also my number i am creating number so i am writing it as a my number is 100 so this is also correct okay so you see my number now there are eight characters if i am creating multiple numbers like then i use my f i r s t first number equal to something like you know 10 then i can say my s e c o n d second number equal to 20 like this okay i can use any number of characters here you see there are only one character there is only one character here there are six characters here there are eight characters okay here there are uh, eight plus five 13 characters okay here we have you know approximately 15 characters like this so all are correct if i ask a value i am getting 100 if i ask my number value i am getting 100 if i ask my f i r s t first number value i am getting 10 if i ask my second number then i am getting 20 like this so means without any error it will give you a correct output so a variable name can have any number of characters so write the rule number 1 and write this example first you write the rule number 1 all of you write the rule number 1 After writing roll number one, we'll write the examples. Don't directly write the roll number two. Yeah, that's good. Now you write these examples. So these examples you write. See, nothing is produced. Error produced. Error is produced. Right? Everything are executed. All the commands are executed. All the variable names are correct. All the variables names are correct. Yeah, that is finished. Thank you, Harika. Yeah. Now, next is the second rule is rule number two. You write Python variable can have digits, but it should not start with a number. The variable name lo number undo chhu. Kani number to start over kore do. What exactly it mean? For example, if I say, uh, I'll say for example, I'll say my number one is n u m one number one. Uh, sorry, n u m one. Number one is let me say twenty five. Then uh, number two is forty five. That is correct. So if I ask num one, I am getting my first number. If I ask num two, I am getting my second number. That is correct. But if I write let me say one n u m, here my number is starting with a digit equal to twenty five. Create just a syntax error. I am getting an error. Invalid. Why? Because here the variable name is starting with a number. So, like for example, a one equal to ten, then a two equal to twenty, so a three equal to thirty, a four equal to forty, all are correct. But if I give four a equal to forty, it is error. If I give three a equal to thirty, it is wrong. If I give two a equal to twenty, it gives error. So means why? Because here the name variable name is starting with a digit. The variable name is starting with a digit, so that will not work. Okay, this is rule number two. So, if you write rule number two now, then you write the examples for rule number two. Finished, Harika. That's good. Now, what you do is you write these examples. So these are correct and these are wrong. Okay. So write this because every program requires variable. If you do a mistake, the commit getting the variable names, na that variable will not be created. Then you will get an error in the program. 
So you have to create the variable names according to the these rules. Okay, right. Now next is rule number three. Yeah. So it should not have. It means variable name. Variable name should not have any space between the words or letters. Space is not allowed. So for example, previously I have created a variable my number. मान की normal का इलाल वाट उन तो नंटे English रास्ते पड़ो word की word की मतलब space इस तरह. So my number I write my space number अंडर my space number equal to ten. If I write like this, that is that will give you error because there is a space. Okay. If you want to give the space, don't give the space. Use some special character like underscore. If I write my number equal to ten, this is correct. Now if I ask my underscore number, now it is giving the value of ten. So like this, you can use some special character, preferably underscore. If you want to maintain a space between the two words, but don't give a space. If you give a space, you will get an error. So write rule number three. Rule number three. Okay, now you write these examples. You write example. Okay, so this is wrong and this is correct way. And similarly, I can say my first number. My first number. Let me say forty-five. Then my sorry, my underscore second number equal to something like you know sixty-five like this. Okay, so these are all correct. Here there is no space. That space we are filling with the underscore. Okay, so like this you have to write this. Okay, that is good. Right. Now next the last fourth rule is Python variables are case sensitive. What is case sensitive? In the sense there is a difference between upper case alphabets and lower case alphabets. Capital letters, small letters, or any different variable names are used. Come to me. And the meaning is that, for example, let me create a variable called a. Small a equal to eight ninety nine. And a variable create just now. If I ask a small a value, it gives me eight ninety nine. If I ask capital a value, and I am going to be, I am getting error. Along with a, to create just now, and then capital a word, then came out with name error. The name capital a is not defined. Did you mean small a? Because already small a is defined. So. Small letter used to see capital letter to call just the variable and then radu error was done. Okay, so for example, I'll write like this: num my number equal to twenty five. Then second way is capital N. I will use I'll say number equal to twenty six. Now both are different variables. Okay, so if I ask capital N U M, it will take it will give only twenty six. If I ask small N U M, it will give so under one alphabet small capital difference is enough. That is different variable that is going to be. So this is called case sensitivity. Okay, so you write this for Python variables are case sensitive. These are case sensitive. Okay. Okay, so now we write examples for this. Okay, so like small a, capital A, this you can write, and you can write these two also. So these two are two different variables like this. Okay, so so always these four rules you have to follow whenever you are creating a variable. Means in every program we will create some variables, right? Without input variables, we can't get an output. Okay, so these are the rules that are associated with the Python variable. So now we know what is the variable. We know how to create the variable. We know what are the rules to follow whenever we are creating the variable. And we discussed about you know immediate mode and uh, like scripting mode. These things we discussed. Okay, and we we came to know the attributes of the variable. Like you know identity is one attribute, and I can say uh, data type is an attribute. So we know ID function. We know type function. These many things we have discussed till now. Okay, now let us move to the 
Next side heading you take assigning value to the variable. Assigning value to the variable. Values to the variables. Variable or variables, no problem. Both is correct. Assigning values to the variables. Okay. So write down in Python first point you write. So this can be done in two ways. One is single value assignment, second is multiple value assignment. So Python law variables and every integral assignment. Single value assignment render the multiple value assignment. So you write point number one. You write point number one. Okay. Now, what is single value assignment? Okay. If you assign at a time one value to one variable, that is called single value assignment. Okay. So, for example, let me say uh, a equal to ten. So, yeah, we have assigned only one value to one variable. Then b equal to twenty. Then c equal to thirty. D equal to 40 like this. At a time we are assigning one variable, one value to one variable. So this is called single value assignment. Now what is exactly multiple value assignment? So that means if you assign multiple values to multiple variables at a time, that is called multiple value assignment. And ANT and for example, I will take like this. So I will say uh, ABCD, XYZ. So yeah, I'll use A1, not A1. So X comma Y comma z equal to now i will say 9 comma 99 comma 999 now this doesn't produce any error if i ask x value i'm getting 9 if i ask y value i'm getting 99 if i ask z value i'm getting triple nine okay for example i'll say my name comma my for i and a friend name my friend name comma then my workplace name Okay, so I'll say something like that, you know, my name is uh, something like, you know, Upender, okay, comma, then my friend name is something like, you know, I'll enter Surrender, then I'll enter my workplace name is something like, you know, Magnic Q, okay, so M-A-G-N-E-Q, Magnic Q, okay, right, so if I ask my name, I'm getting my name, if I ask, you know, uh, my friend, then I'm getting my friend. If I ask my work, my work, then I'm getting magnitude like this. Okay. So multiple, you can take anything, 2, 3, 4, 5, 20, 30, 50, your wish. Any number of variables you can assign values, any number of values you can assign. So like this, if a multiple values are assigned at a time to the multiple variables, so that is called as multiple value assignment. Okay. So write this, this point number two and point number three. Then you can write the examples. Point number two, point number three, you write. Completed, finished. Yeah, that is good. Right now, you write these examples also, please. You write examples x comma y comma z and this like this. So, you can, you can assign anything, not only numbers. That's what I'm telling you. A variable can store any data, not only numbers, not only names, anything. Combination of numbers and names like this. Okay. So, variable can store. Any form of data. Thank you.
yeah that is called prime now here you see we are we have created now x comma y comma z right so i'll say x comma y comma z equal to i'll say 9 comma sorry 1 comma 11 so let me say 10 comma 11 10 sorry 10 comma 11 so now here i want to assign there are three variables but i am assigning two values so let us see what is the result that is an error so i am trying to take two values and i am trying to assign the uh, three variables so that is not correct because one variable requires one value and they have created three values and three variables have created but there are only two values so that's why it is giving error okay now let us take x comma y equal to so 10 comma 11 comma 12 like this here also error why because more values less number of variables in first case here number of variables are high number of values are less here number of variables are low and number of uh, values are high opposite case so that means you remember whenever you are trying to implement this multiple value assignment na? so number of values equal to number of variables then only it will be perform okay three values unde three variables undali three variables unde three value undali 10 variables unde 10 values undali otherwise you will get an error and remember always it will take in a sequence what i mean to say is if i say x comma y comma z equal to let me say 11 comma 12 comma 13 ila teesukunnappudu x value em ostundi 11 y value 12 z value 13 ipudu em chestanu ante z comma y comma x anta teesukunnappudu malli same isthanu 11 comma 12 comma 13 teesukuntaru itla teesukunte ipudu x value em ostundi 13 ochindi indaga x value 11 ochindi enduku change ayyandante ikkada first x rasanu kabatti first value x teesukuntundi next y rasanu kabatti next value y teesukuntundi next z rasanu kabatti next value z teesukuntundi adhe ikkada chudandi first z rasanu kabatti 11 ane z teesukuntundi నెక్స్ట్ వై రాసాను కాబట్టి వై విల్ టేక్ ట్వెల్ లాస్ట్ చివరికి ఎక్స్ రాసాను కాబట్టి ఎక్స్ థర్టీన్ తీసుకుంటుంది సో ఎక్స్ ఇస్ థర్టీన్ వై ఇస్ ట్వెల్ అండ్ జెడ్ ఇస్ లెవెన్ సో దట్ ఆర్డర్ ఆల్సో మ్యాటర్స్ అర్థమైంది కదా సో దిస్ ఇస్ వాట్ అబౌట్ ది మల్టిపుల్ వాల్యూ అసైన్మెంట్ ఇస్ దట్ క్లియర్ ఎనీ డౌట్స్ ఇన్ దిస్ so here i will write one more point also for your sake so the always number of variables should be equal to the number of values okay number of variables and every నెంబర్ ఆఫ్ వాల్యూస్ తో ఈక్వల్ గా ఉండాలి నాట్ క్యాల్యూస్ వాల్యూస్ ఇట్ ఇస్ స్పెల్లింగ్ మిస్టేక్ ఓకే దెన్ ఓన్లీ యూ కెన్ సక్సెస్ఫుల్లీ అసైన్ ది మల్టిపుల్ వాల్యూ అసైన్ ఓకే సో నౌ వీ ఆర్ ఫెమిలియర్ విత్ హౌ టు అసైన్ ద వాల్యూస్ ఆల్సో వెరీ గుడ్ ఓకే నెక్స్ట్ లెట్ అస్ మూవ్ ఆన్ టు ద నెక్స్ట్ సైడ్ ఎడింగ్ డేటా టైప్ టైప్స్ ఇన్ ఫైవ్ రైట్ యువర్ ఫాల్ you write the list of this 10 so this many data types are available type string data type list data type tuple data type dictionary data type set data type byte then byte array then boolean so these are the uh, are uh, available in python so write it tell me completed so that's fine so let us stop today at this point so tomorrow i will talk about each and every type it will take a lot of time to discuss about each and every type so numbers gurinchi oka class kavali string gurinchi oka class padutundi atla uh, numbers string sign tarvata malli we will start writing the programs then list pane chaala classes padthe atla one by one it will come it is a very long discussion it's not to be completed in one hour or two hours okay about the data types 
So we'll stop at this point today. Any doubts in today's class? Any doubts? Yes.